I can spend like hours and hours here. Literally, I can spend the whole day here. This is another section uh, where there's young adult children's books. I take back, I think not just one day, I can spend like weeks here. I love when bookstores write about books so that it's easier for you to pick book. It's just right here. It's not like advertised right at the front. There were books which cost, costed like thousands of dollars. So it's a Saturday that we are coming in. Still, obviously there would be a lot of people, I, I think so. And we won't get to cover the entire uh, bookstore, but let's see. This is the bookstore, Powell's Books Used and New Books. It's it's way, way, way spread out right here as, as well as in the back. I'm gonna show you. This is the bookstore and we are going in. Thank you. Everything here is color coded. They also have like a purple room, a coffee room, gold room. Everything is color coded. Like you need to understand everything through colors. <laughs> I love when bookstores write about books so that it's easier for you to pick. These are all handwritten notes everywhere where you can choose if you want a book or not. So this is a lovely section, the books that changed us. Each and every book here is somehow people have written about how that book changed them. Uh, all of these are classics here, I've read Psalm for the Wild Bill, Gunslinger. So when we move out of there, this is another section. Uh, where there's young adult children's books and again children's toys at the back there. They also have an interesting section. They've written about books that have won awards this year. So you can have a look at the list of what you want to read. The store has won a lot of awards. Um, who are the people involved and that kind of stuff. This is again a new section with all of these genres. It's pretty cool, they have like these very hyper specific fiction books. So these are all paranoia fiction books where I think the central characters go crazy or something. Pretty cool and again, there's just aisles and aisles of books. I can spend like hours and hours here, literally I can spend the whole day here and just get lost in this world. Everything is very well structured. I've never seen such a structured bookstore by the way. Every little thing is structured here. Whatever you want, there's a section for that. Everywhere you see, there are like handwritten notes. I see so many books which I know of. Like I'm just seeing Shogun right now. And I just saw Paulo Coelho's latest book. It's just right here. It's not like advertised right in the front. It's just somewhere here in the bookstore where you have to hunt for a book, which is pretty amazing, I think. So while I was on a flight to Seattle, well, when I was coming here, I came from Seattle to uh, uh, or reading Charles Bukowski. I actually read this entire novel. Uh, it's a collection of Henry Chinaski, who's the central character. All of these books are Bukowski here. I'm probably gonna take Ham on the Rai. Uh, and also probably there's a book called Pulpia. I might take this as well. No, Alchemist was banned. Milk and Honey banned. Lord of the Flies was banned somewhere. 1984 was banned somewhere. There's Great Gatsby, Slaughterhouse Fire, Norwegian Wood. I think I'm reading just banned books. These Moss is banned. I don't know why. I take back. I think not just one day. I can spend like weeks here, just trapped in this bookstore. Even if I'm trapped here, it'll be all right because there's just so many books. There's just so many stories, everything is just feels like I have to read this, I have to read that, it's just too overwhelming. It's aisles and aisles from books. There's also a nice coffee store here that you want. And again, holds and holds of books. So people are super passionately searching for books. I saw a couple who were actually, they had a list with them and they were searching books one by one, getting, it's, they were working like a treasure hunt, right? They were looking for books everywhere and adding it to their cart, they had a huge shopping cart. I was like, someday, and someday my book will also be in the store. Let me say this on record, uh, on a video, the book I will write 
it it doesn't matter if it's like a best seller or not but i just want my book to be in a store like this uh, in stores worldwide even if it's just one book it's fine by me we just want it here i want it to be a part of a legacy got everything whatever you could think of whatever book you want everything is here right this is one of those book stores which has extensive collection extensive and it's right in the middle of the city by the way and i tell you the best part about this book store uh it's not like all the books are like first hand books they also have a lot of used books and they are cheap they are not expensive at all like you could find a copy of the book that you want somewhere they have a lot of used books as well again a new section self help biographies and autobiographies we also have a rare book room this this section was all business but i'm going to the rare book room now let's see how that is this is the place where minds are never made up Okay so I came out of the store I got like four books I wanted to buy like 40 but I want to fly back also and I don't have space in my in my luggage to carry all of the books back so yeah I mean hands down this is one of the best bookstores I've ever been just the little things that these this store has done it's it's just mind blowing for example when you wanted to search for a book they've given a short paper there with the author's name the book's name you could search for it in the computer write that shit down and go to the section they have floors and floors they have like in pop like like a self help section biography non fiction section science fiction section you can just navigate around the bookstore and the best part is not all books are pricey they have used books as well they apparently have a collection of more than like 4 million books and obviously uh, and also uh, and also you might have seen i showed you the uh, rare book uh, room you i could not film it for obvious reasons but there were books which cost costed like thousands of dollars they were like first copies of books they were very old 1800 1700 books written in those those times there were books like that uh, there is a secret book i found on the internet i even asked them there is a secret book which is only shown to interested buyers uh the book costs 350000 dollars uh i don't know what that book is and I, i am not an interested buyer so i didn't see it uh i don't have that kind of money so yeah uh thank you so much for watching the video till here i hope you like this experience of me going into one of the biggest bookstores of the world uh it had a, it was a great experience whenever you get a chance to come here you should come here it it's just a different world altogether it was like I have stepped into a different portal. So, yeah, that's all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.